Hello, welcome to all to our channel BioBook. Today I am going to explain about uh, transcription in eukaryotes. So, in the process of transcription, we know that uh, RNA polymerase enzyme is required. But in eukaryotes, there are three types of RNA polymerases. Those are RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 3 and RNA polymerase 2. And what are the functions of three types of RNA polymerases? See, so RNA polymerase 1, it catalyzes uh, the uh, formation of ribosomal RNA subunits like 28 Swedberg units, 18 Swedberg units and 5.8 Swedberg units. Whereas RNA polymerase 3, it helps in the transcription of transfer RNA that is tRNA and 5SR RNA. Okay? These are smaller subunits of ribosomal RNA. And then smaller nuclear RNAs also. These are the three types of RNAs which are synthesized with the help of RNA polymerase 3. Whereas, RNA polymerase 2 helps in the synthesis of or helps in the transcription of heterogeneous nuclear RNA, right. So, let us see the uh, process of transcription in eukaryotes. So, as usually RNA polymerase whatever it may be 1, 3 or 2, it uh, initiate the process of uh, formation of uh, RNA and it and the second process is, second step is elongation and the last step is termination. Termination means wherever terminator region is there, then what happened? The process will be terminated and heterogeneous nuclear RNA is released. This is heterogeneous nuclear RNA. And this heterogeneous nuclear RNA, we can mark as this is 5 dash end and here it is 3 dash end. And this undergoes processing. And a part of processing, what happens towards at 5 dash end, there will be adding of methyl guanosine triphosphate. Okay. And uh, this process is known as capping, capping. And uh, towards 3 dash end, there will be adding of adenylate residues, nearly 200 to 300 adenylate residues are added at 3 dash end. That process is known as a tailing, tailing. So, at 5 dash end capping, at 3 dash end tailing, okay. And after this year splicing, a process splicing occurs. Why splicing occurs? Because this heterogeneous RNA, it consists of two types of sequences. And what are the two types of sequences? Introns and exons. Introns are non-coding regions. Exons are coding regions, okay. Presence of introns and exons in this RNA that is why this RNA is known as heterogeneous nuclear RNA. So, now this heterogeneous nuclear RNA undergoing splicing, a mechanism which is called as splicing. So, in this splicing what happens? Introns are removed and exons are joined together. See how introns are removing and uh, uh, exons are joining together. Okay? So, after the splicing we can see a complete matured RNA.